Over the past few years, there haven't been many Flybridge cruisers launched that break new ground for the builders. However, this week on Power Profile, we're going to take a look at one that does from Carver Yachts, the C40. The C40 is truly a bold new design with their low profile extended bridge and hull design that carries the beam well forward, creating a flared bow that adds extra interior space. The C40 has a large integrated swim platform that provides great access to the cockpit. Twin transom lockers conceal the shore hookups and hide a ton of gear. The cockpit is quite large and open, or it can be fitted out with wraparound split transom seating with integrated storage. Molded steps provide ease of access to the wide side decks, and the steps also create space for storage and the optional refrigerator or ice maker. Molded stairs lead to the bridge, which is a real focal point for the C40. To port, an L-shaped settee dominates the flybridge, providing plenty of seating and storage. Aft on the bridge extension, protected by a low rail, is a great sun lounging area. The helm is a pod design that allows ample space for installing multifunction displays, flanking the LCD vessel view engine and system display. Now standard on the C40, of course, is the upper helm station, and there is an optional lower helm available for the starboard side of the salon. So let's go in and take a look at the layout in this C40. Double opening glass doors provide superior access and fresh breezes for the salon. The salon is an open concept design from the aft bulkhead forward to the companionway. Carver has used natural tones for the fabric upholstery and nylon sculptured carpet that effectively lightens the space. Carver also designed the space for living with a settee immediately to port with storage and a section that moves over to the high-low table for dining. The high-low table is surrounded by an additional U-shaped settee with a filler cushion that converts the dinette into a berth for two. Forward of the U-settee, a glassware cabinet is located where the optional lower helm would be installed. The standard salon entertainment system consists of a 23-inch LCD TV, DVD player, AM FM CD marine stereo and speakers. For comfort, Carfer offers a single zone 16,000 BTU air conditioning, reverse cycle heat unit, or a 28,000 BTU dual zone system that also adds a second 30 amp shore power inlet. All wood accents, including the galley cabinetry, are stylish dark walnut, and the flooring is dusky walnut. The counters are solid surface with a double stainless sink, electric cooktop with ventilator, and under the counter, our side-by-side -side Novacool refrigerator freezer and a microwave. A welcome feature is the cavernous below deck storage. Accommodations are forward and down two steps. The mid cabin has twin berths or a filler cushion to convert the sleeping area to a double bed. In the cabin are a hanging locker with a light and mirror, LED lighting, two reading lights and an opening port with screen. A second door reveals the guest head. For those wonderful nights aboard at anchor, the C40's master has four opening ports and a large overhead hatch with screens and shades for ventilation. Thank you, Carver. I'm seeing all too many cruisers from other companies that are hermetically sealed, forcing you to run the generator and air conditioning when away from the dock. The C40 with its two heads spoils the owners with a private head. This well-appointed space has solid surface counters, vanity with vessel sink, a walk-in shower with a bench seat, exhaust fan, electric toilet, opening port with screen, and LED lights. Carver's been a popular name in boating for decades with a full line of cruisers, both aft cabins and cockpit motor yachts. Now recently, they've really stepped up their game with the launch of the C-34 and now the C-40, a cruiser really worthwhile looking into. While we have had a chance to spend time aboard the C-40, Big East winds following the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show prevented us from filming on water. However, we will have the opportunity and will post the updated power profile on BoatTest.ca and USBoatTest.com.